last minute adjustments before the test launch of a new high-tech kite. It might be a bit dangerous. These Dutch researchers believe if the technology takes off, it could change the way we generate electricity. The system harnesses the steady pull of a lightweight parafoil kite. A flight control computer rides just beneath the kite, communicating with a ground station. And as the kite pulls, a winch on the ground slowly lets the line out, at the same time using the pulling force to generate electricity. By flying figures of eight, we fly really fast at around 100 kilometers per hour. So we can uh, generate uh, an optimal amount of electricity as the kite is reeling out. When we are done with the reeling out, we can reel it back in until it's just on top of us and then it can dive back into the next power cycle and we have a positive energy balance. 170. This prototype provides enough electricity to power between 10 and 20 homes, but the team wants to scale this up, making the kite and its power generating capacity five times larger. You don't need a heavy crane. We can just be with our trailer, very mobile in a container, drop it. So also for remote locations, it seems like an ideal um, replacement, especially also for diesel generators. But like many test flights, this one doesn't go as planned, and a problem with the kite steering brings it down. Flying at 200 metres, well above the height of conventional wind turbines, kites like these enjoy stronger and more sustained wind conditions. They're working on a computer system now to regulate its movement as it flies and say when this is achieved, kite power could provide a more efficient and reliable source of renewable energy. It is, um, from a computer's point of view, a very diff difficult task, um, even for a human operator. Um, you need some kite surfing skills, uh, then you can feel how the kite reacts. It's a very dynamic system, so the kite always moves in all directions. So it's, um, from a control point of view, also a, a hard challenge. The team says conventional wind turbines have taken decades to develop. Their technology is just in its infancy and has as much, if not more, potential. Tarek Vasley, Al Jazeera, Valkenburg Airfield in the Netherlands.